Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. The other topics we will speak about uh, disease of the pleura. Uh, first of all, I have no conflict of interest regarding this talk. Uh, the outline we will speak about the physiology of the pleura, pleural effusion. Uh, uh, also the neoplastic disease of the pleura, pneumothorax, chylothorax, and hemothorax. And uh, we have uh, uh, multiple choice of questions we can also uh, discuss if we have a time. Uh, uh, the key point we have to differentiate between a uh, transudate and exudate. Uh, the characteristic pleural finding uh, for a specific disease, for the heart failure, for rheumatoid arthritis, for uh, uh, infection, uh, empyema, uh, also the management of various types uh, of uh, pneumothorax and uh, hemothorax or chylothorax. Type of a pleural effusion, uh, we have different types, would be hydrothorax, uh, hydro-pneumothorax, embyema, chylothorax, and uh, hemothorax, and loculated pleural effusion. Uh, mechanism for production of a pleural fluid, uh, either increase in the hydrostatic pressure or uh, a decrease in the oncotic pressure in the microvascular uh, circulation, uh, inflammation and increased permeability of a pleural uh, microvascular circulation, a blockage of the lymphatic drainage and decrease in the negative pressure with the pleural space and nasty and home lung collapse long standing vascular rupture of the chest in the chest or a penetrating trauma or rupture of the thoracic duct زي ما احنا شايفين هنا في this is the lung covered by the visceral pleura and this is the uh, internal uh, side of the thoracic cage with the, uh, covered with the parietal uh, pleura and this is also a histological uh, picture differentiate between the parietal pleura and visceral pleura this is the pleural uh, space uh, uh, this is the villi in the visceral pleura uh, micro uh, electronic microscope picture and this is also the lymphatic it did uh, drainage uh, for in the parietal pleura. Uh, oh, this is also another picture for pleural histology. Uh, the fluid is secreted from the visceral pleura and uh, also reabsorbed it uh, in, from the uh, lymphatic uh, uh, channels. Pleural effusion uh, abnormal. Uh, accumulation of a pleural fluid in the pleural space, uh, either implants between the excessive pleural fluid formation or decrease in the absorption. Normal uh, pleural space is filled uh, uh, approximately 7 to uh, 14 mL of low protein pleural fluid. Uh, طبعا the production على مدار الساعة تقريبا 0.15 مل per kg of a fluid produced hourly. The first step to evaluate the patient with the pleural effusion, طبعاً history and physical exam. No specific symptoms for pleural effusion. Um, can be blood excess pain, dyspnea, cough, fever, systemic manifestation, uh, or asymptomatic. Continuous uh, constitutional symptoms. In uh, Nasrallah, weight loss, fever, uh, night sweat, uh, anorexia mellitus also can be uh, suggestion of uh, malignancy or uh, TB. The physical exam, asymmetrical chest expansion, could be tracheal shift or uh, absence of tactile fremitus, dullness to percussion, and decrease of breath sound at the same side. Uh, lower limb edema, uh, GVB raised for the congestive heart failure and uh, ascites uh, patient with long-standing hepatic hydrothorax. Lymphadenopathy also can give you us uh, an organomegaly suggestive of neuroblastic finger clubbing also could be uh, a suggestion of neuroblastic uh, disease. 
a picture of arthropathy, uh, rheumatoid hand, continuous finding uh, rheumatoid arthritis or uh, other autoimmune process. Diagnostic evaluation of the patient with the pleura, uh, cyst X-ray, thoracosynthesis, uh, VATS or medical thoracoscopy. Cyst X-ray, طبعاً, في at least 75 ml needed to obliterate the posterior cost of phoenix sulcus. The lateral need 170. If the full diaphragm, diaphragmatic contour disappear about uh, 500 ml, whether it is uh, the, the pleural fluid uh, reach the fourth rib, that means there is almost 1000 ml. And as we see here, if there is obliteration of the posterior costophrenic angle or lateral costophrenic angle or the diaphragm or the fourth rib. This is lateral also the cubitus of you. This is also the, the, the schist X-ray. Uh, there is a loculated pleural effusion as we see here because the fluid is not uh, in the uh, classic picture of a pleural fluid with the meniscus sign. It's just cut off here. And as we see here, sign of complication or loculated pleural effusion. Also, this is a CT scan of the same uh, patient. There is also loculation, sign of loculation or complicated pleural effusion. The lateral decubitus chest X-ray is very important. Give us two point or two idea about with well, the first one is the, the amount of a fluid. If it is more than one centimeter, that means there is. Uh, almost enough fluid for aspiration and the fluid is a free flow a free flowing and mobile and it is not loculated this is the schist x-ray the standard the posterior anterior view and this is AP view for, for a patient in uh, immobile or in the ICU this is lateral just X-ray, and this is a, a, a right lateral decubitus. Ultrasound also superior to clarify uh, the fluid amount that almost uh, can also detect the smaller pleural fusion up to 5 ml. Dependent that also it is the operator dependent. A CT scan also uh, can detect a very, very small amount of pleural effusion and give us also idea about the mediastinum and the lung parenchyma. Split pleural sign, it's one of the sign where is the thickening of the parietal and visceral pleura and you will be able to differentiate between the pleural fluid and the, uh, the pleural uh, membrane. Uh, it is one of the sign of uh, complicated or pleural effusion or embyema. Almost a very common disease, uh, 1.5 million effusion per year in USA. Uh, most of uh, the pleural effusion secondary to the congestive heart failure, uh, uh, most of the cases. Uh, sometimes in the uh, uh, developing country, uh, TB also one of the uh, cause. Uh, the second uh, prevalence uh, of blood effusion is secondary to the pneumonia, uh, then malignancy and pulmonary embolism. If the patient is having bilateral uh, pleural effusion, it, most likely it is a transudate and uh, uh, because it's uh, secondary to generalize the changes that affect the both the pleural cavity so we have to think about systematic cause of a pleural effusion right sided typically associated with ascites heart failure and liver abscess sometimes and left sided secondary to the pancreatitis uh, pericarditis or sufficient uh, rupture the first step is thoracosynthesis. As we mentioned, we have to uh, aspirate uh, a fluid 
ultrasound guided according to the British Thoracic Society and to send for protein LDH gram stain cytology and microbiological structure. Usually it should be in the lateral uh, posterior uh, in the posterior axillary uh, line. We we'll try to avoid the paravertebral space in order not to hit the a subcostal vessel. We'll send for the color, odors, RBC count, uh, white blood cells count, protein, glucose, LDH, uh, pH, uh, sometimes also cytology, gram stain, and the uh, culture. Uh, the, 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 the gross picture of the pleural fluid, if it is bloody, we think about malignancy, asbestosis, infarction B or uh, post uh, cardiac surgery syndrome uh, if it is white milky uh, we'll think about chylothorax and if it is pus clear pus uh, empyema this is a uh, uh, prof richard uh, or light richard uh, the one who's uh, uh, make a criteria for the diagnosis of uh, a separation between transudate and exudate. If the pleural fluid, the pleural fluid protein divided by the serum protein more than 0 0.5, it will be exudate less than 0 0.5 transudate or if the pleural fluid divided by the serum LDH more than 0 0.6 or less than 0 0.6 or the pleural LDH more than the two-third of the upper limit of the serum. If you don't have serum value, you can check for the LDH if it is more than 45% or cholesterol more than 45 milligram per deciliter or total protein more than 2.9 gram per deciliter. That means this is secondary to the exudative uh, pleural effusion if the patient in the using if is using uh, uh, forsamide or lasix you uh, check for albumin uh, serum uh, minus the effusion if it is less than 1.2 gram per deciliter it is exudative Causes of a transitive pleural effusion consists of heart failure, pericardial disease, hepatic hydrothorax, nephrotic syndrome, urinary thorax, or myxedema, sometimes also pulmonary embolism. Exclusive pleural effusion and paranemonic effusion, TB, fungal, viral, or parasitic, and also collagen vascular disease. Paranemonic effusion, either it is simple or complex uh, or complicated paranemonic effusion and will be in by uh, in byema. There are uh, pathophysiology of and the pathogenesis of the three stages of embyema, exudative stage, followed by bacterial invasion and organizing stage. This is abundant fibrinous membrane, loculation, multiloculation, and septation thickened of the parietal and visceral pleura. Patient with the category 1 and category 2 of paranemonic effusion may not require the pleural drainage, simple pleural effusion, just need antibiotic. But if the patient is having complicated paranemonic effusion, you need to train. Uh, in addition to the antibiotic and also in the case of embyema. Uh, characteristic of complicated paranormal effusion, the glucose is uh, low and the pH less than 7.2, positive culture, pleural LDH more than the upper, uh, th uh, more than three uh, upper limits of serum, pleural fluid is loculated. Embyema can be diagnosed by the presence of pus in the pleural space as we see here if the patient is having a xenophilia a xenophilic pleural effusion you can think about hemothorax, pneumothorax, 
parasitic infection, fungal disease, or drug-induced. Lymphocytic blood effusion, more than 50% of the nucleated cells uh, can about malignancy, TB, lymphoma, and sarcoidosis to this extent. Tuberculous pleuritis, acute illness, two-thirds of the disease, a chronic in the one-third, unilateral effusion, and you have sometimes you have parenchymal lung disease. It is excessive lymphocytic predominant. Positive BBD uh, can also be uh, the patient have uh, difficulty uh, while draining pleural fluid to demonstrate the acid fast bacilli in the pleural fluid. The diagnosis of tuberculous pleuritis is most likely by uh, pleural uh, biopsy. Sometimes in advanced center we can request for adenosine deaminase uh, level if it is uh, more than 70 units per uh, liter are almost diagnostic of TB. If uh, pleural uh, biopsy done through the video assisted thoracoscopy or medical thoracoscopy, we can uh, see a, like a pleural surface with solid or caseous sago like nodule, as we see here, which is very characteristic of a tuberculous pleural uh, pleuritis. The treatment also depends on the anti TB medication. Uh, asbestos related pleural disease. <clears throat> we have a benign asbestos pleural fusion. Uh, we have a pleuraplex mesothelioma or around atelectasis. As we see here, there is multiple uh, pleural plaques uh, bilaterally in a patient with uh, asbestos plaques. Holy leaf sign. <laughs> can be discovered also by the uh, CT scan, uh, um, calcification of the uh, parietal and visceral peripheral pleura. This is also round atelectasis, bilateral round atelectasis in patient with asbestos changes. And this picture is benign condition and can also mimic malignancy. A patient with connective tissue disease, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, sarcoidosis, most of them they have lymphocytic exudative pleural effusion, uh, low glucose, and uh, to extent the maybe a picture similar to the empyema. In SLE, we can see also uh, LE cell, as it is in the pleural fluid in SLE. Uh, patient with post uh, cabbage sometimes can develop a pleural effusion. Uh, one week after surgery, uh, exudative usually unilateral, uh, loculated in the left side sometimes. But uh, post cardiac artery bypass surgery uh, sometimes can be present with the also bloody exudative and less than 30 years after uh, 30 days after surgery. Uh, which can also result by uh, giving medication like colchicine. A malignant pleural effusion, metastatic cancer or carcinoma, sometimes lymphoma or a non-primary cancer. It's usually exudative, lymphocytic exudative of pleural effusion with a diagnosis sometimes with the pleural fluid cytology or pleural biopsy or via thorac thoracoscopy. And we see here the patient is having very thickened nodularity of the pleura in the case of with malignant mesothelioma. We have three histological subtypes, epithelial, sarcomatous, and mixed.
uh, hepatic hydrothorax in patients with long-standing ascites and liver cirrhosis. They can be presented with right-sided pleural effusion where the fluid can enter the right side of the pleural cavity through the fenestration in the right side of the diaphragm. A, a, a pleural pseudo tumor. Uh, this is also uh, when the fluid is located in the middle fissure. Uh, sometimes can be mis uh, uh, diagnosed as uh, tumor, uh, which can also uh, a common uh, presentation in patient with uh, cirrhosis or congestive heart failure or renal insufficiency. Pneumothorax, we have a primary spontaneous pneumothorax or secondary pneumothorax. Uh, the primary is uh, uh, can uh, result from uh, rupture of subpleural plebs associated with smoking. Patients uh, tend to be taller than and thin, uh, diagnosed uh, uh, confirmed by chest X ray. Uh, sometimes you need CT scan. As you see here, the visceral line and the left sided uh, pneumothorax. And also, here, as we see in the right side, on the lung and visceral line with the lung collapse. Treatment of a primary spontaneous pneumothorax if it is less than two centimeters from the pleural space or visceral, uh, visceral pleural space and the patient is having asymptomatic with no shortness of a breath and no desaturation you can observe supplement oxygen uh, sometimes you need to give simple aspiration or in a large uh, than two centimeter you and uh, symptomatic patient you have to insert just a tube Secondary uh, pneumothorax uh, can present in a patient with having a structural lung disease like in COVD or cystic fibrosis and interstitial lung disease. Uh, Chylus pleural effusion defined the presence of chyle or in the pleura. Uh, appearance of milky uh, must uh, pleural effusion and you should differentiate it the chylus from pseudo chylus. Uh, the presence of triglyceride more than 110 milligram per deciliter is almost diagnostic. And pseudo chylothorax can be presented in rheumatoid arthritis or tuberculosis. The most common causes of chylus effusion tumor like lymphoma, uh, trauma uh, surgery, or idiopathic. Hemothorax secondary to trauma. And uh, 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 by the end, we have to uh, 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 differentiate between uh, between the uh, transudative pleural effusion, between exudative pleural effusion. Uh, the first step uh, is history and physical examination, then radiological imaging, uh, uh, CT scan sometimes uh, can help in case if we suspected the bronchogenic cancer. Then we can proceed for uh, thoracosynthesis, diagnostic thoracosynthesis, to send for cell count, to send for cytology, to send for gram stain and culture, uh, protein, and total protein and NDH, sometimes also glucose and amylase. It helps us to give a, uh, an idea about the definitive uh, causes of uh, pleural effusion. Thank you.